All right, here is your gearbox out of the water tower. It's a two piece, top half and bottom half. This is where, right here is where the motor uh, goes in, the one screw that holds your motor in. You unscrew that, pull your motor out. You have three screws that hold the gearbox itself down into the water tower's base. You unscrew those, you pop it out, it comes right out. And then you're gonna have three screws, there's one, that hold the two halves of the gearbox uh, together. There's one, here's two, I already unscrewed it. Here's three, I already unscrewed. So then once you have those three unscrewed, you're going to gently work the two halves apart. Okay? You don't want to go too crazy and have it fly out. I've done this a couple times now, and the first time I made a mess with the gears. So the first gear you're going to see here is this little gear, which has a second gear molded into it. I don't know if you can see that or not. All right, here and here. Now this outer, the teeth on the outer one here, that is what meshes with the gear on the end of the armature of the motor. This one, it's right here, goes into the top half of the housing and slides in over this axle shaft. And that stays like that, that's all you have there. On this half, you have another gear, which also has a second gear molded into it. And it sits flat in the bottom of this, the bottom of the uh, gearbox housing on this axle shaft. And then this one and that's going to go right in there. This is going to go this one here. And what you have here is this big gear. It has a molded in piece here. And this is the spring, the internal spring. So the spring goes on this side of that molded in piece. And you're going to set it on that shaft, that metal shaft there and it's going to mesh the teeth on this outer ring are going to mesh with these the two the teeth on this molded in gear here so you're going to have that like so with this gear on top you're going to put the two halves back together it's going to go in like this that axle let's see here this axle right here, this little shaft, is going to go in right here. And there's a molded in pocket for that. They're gonna go in together, and this is going to come out the top of the top part of the housing. So you're going to line them up. And we, once they go in, they pop in, and you just push it together. Now before you go and screw it back in, you can go like so, and you can twist this, and you can feel that it's not binding, and that's good. That's what you want. You want it free moving. So then the three screws that hold the housing together, the two halves together, you're going to screw them back up. You don't have to go crazy on them because you don't want to break anything or bind anything. Everything's just snugged up. So then you get those three and that's it. That's your gearbox back together. And on the bottom here, I wrote for my reminder what direction this gear goes to go down. So as it goes down, it's gonna to get to a point and it stops. 
So you want to spin it because when you put it back in, you're going to have your, your spout is going to be in the up position. Okay. So going counterclockwise goes down. So when you're going, when the gear is going counterclockwise and you can see it, it's right here. This is that big gear. This one is the one that meshes with the spout mechanism and makes it go down. So counterclockwise goes down. So when you put this back into your water tower, your spout is in the upright position. So you want to rotate this gear clockwise and you're going to go clockwise all the way and it's going to go up against your spring that's in there. Okay. So what I try to do is go and preload it a little bit, just a little bit, and then hold on to this uh, shaft right here. Or you can just, you can turn it or get a pliers and do that. And it doesn't have to be super loaded, just a little bit. That way you have a little bit of tension, spring tension on, on the assembly. So when you hit the button, it has that little bit of uh, help going down. And what that'll do is it makes it easier on the whole operation. And then when it's down, you have a counterweight that when you release the power, it brings it back up. That's what your little counterweight on the uh, water tower is for. So you're gonna feel when you're pushing these gears right here as I'm doing, let me see here. Right here, you can push the gears clockwise and you can feel it's, it's spring loaded. And you only gotta do a tooth or two, just enough to have a little bit of uh, tension. So when you press the button, it has that momentum, it starts going down. And when it hits, when you're done and you let off the button, the counterweight pulls it back up and it pulls it back up into position. So. That's it. You don't have to uh, get a lot of tension on it. You probably don't even have to do any. I do a little bit. I think that's the way it's initially designed for or originally designed for is I have a little bit of spring tension there. That's what the spring is in there for. So you have that and you put it back in. Um, and as you're going down, you can just take a like a pliers and turn this, um, which looking down at it would be counter you'd be looking down at it and it would be counterclockwise when you're looking at it an upside down it would be clockwise I hope I'm not uh, confusing you here but and the way to do that is to you can just spin this with your finger and you can watch this little gear right in here you can see it maybe not so much but right through the hole right there where the armature and the gear go for the motor You'll see that you're spinning it with your finger. That's all you gotta do is just get a couple teeth spun, put it back in, that'll preload it, and you'll be good to go. All right, I hope that helps. Uh, have any other questions, uh, message us and we'll uh, see if we can help. Thanks for watching, bye-bye. Happy railroading. Happy railroading. <laughs>